Hi, my name is Walter Mueller. I'm a fire lieutenant with the City of Live Oak Fire Department. It's located in South Texas, just north of San Antonio. We're here today at the Ferrara plant to discuss our 2018 custom igniter pumper. Uh, as we go through, I'll show you a couple features that we've laid out in the truck. Uh, hope, you, hope you like it. We're starting the cab today. What we did here in the cab, uh, as you can see, we got we have a lot of leg room up here in the front. We went ahead and pushed the seat back as far as it would go so that our officers could have more leg room up here in the front. We, uh, we have a console up here with on a slide out tray so that they don't have to worry about leaning forward while we're driving. We went ahead in the back back here. As you can see, we got a little bit longer cab. The, uh, we went with a 74 inch cab so that way our guys in the back seat because we have three rear fa uh, forwards facing seats so that they could have a little bit more leg room. We went ahead and also put a 10 inch raised roof on here so that they could possibly stand up or have a little bit more ability for their heads to, to move throughout the cabin. We, uh, back here we have a top mount pump. It's a 1500 GPM waterous single stage pump. We have the three different speed lays, two inch and a half and a two and a half. We've got the pull out trays on the truck. We went ahead and uh, put an 18 inch extended gun up on top for our deck gun. As we work down the truck here, we have this first compartment that we have. We've got this universal writ sticker that we're hopefully uh, gonna try to get in place with the other mutual aid companies that we have coming in. And our, so our rip pack will be located in this compartment and that way when the other companies come in, they know where to look for the sticker on the truck. So if, when they get assigned a writ, they can go to that compartment and take that bag out. As we come down the truck, we're gonna get to our, our first compartment with our, where we're gonna store our airbags and have uh, all of our airbag equipment inside for doing rescue operations and extrication. Uh, and then in the next compartment, we store in our rescue jacks and our e-tools. We went with the TNT e-tools and we went with the rescue 42 e uh, jacks. Inside this last portion, we're gonna have the, a bag that carries all the attachments for those rescue 42s. And then up here on the shelf, we're gonna have our batteries for our e-tools. We put a little plug in back here for, that plugs in for the shoreline to keep those tools charged up. Up on top, we have coffins, and on this side of the, the, the truck, we're gonna put our ropes and, uh, and stoats basket and such up in the coffins, so that way they're up out of the way, since we don't do a whole lot of that. But then up on top, as you can see, right above the word Live Oak, we have six ions. Those ions are for traffic advisor, so that when we're on the highway, since we go uh, and have two major highways on our in our city that we service, we can be a little bit more seen, a little bit more protected with, with the traffic advisor. As we come around the back of the truck, we have a ladder on the back of the truck for safety, just like they put on the MVPs. Then we come in here, inside this compartment is where we have our ladder stored. We have two 16 foot roof ladders with hooks and then a 28 foot two section ladder. We uh, have a blitz fire gun on the back it's going to be connected to three inch six about 600 foot of three inch it's piped into the back of the truck down at the end and we're going to carry about a thousand foot of five inch okay. as we come around the truck here you can see we went ahead and installed chainsaw modules on the truck we're also got a 500 pound slide out tray where we're going to keep our gas fan and our electric generator in the back back here we have a Pearson nozzle mounted and then in the back back here we have the base for the monitor back here stowed in a compartment as you as you notice here we can lift up the modules both sides actually open so you can store your fuel and uh, oil so it's out of the way in a compartment as we work ourselves around we got a tool board, swinging tool board that we got laid out with our Halligan, our Denver tool, and an axe. And as we open it, you can see we did the same thing on the other side. We got a sledgehammer and a pair of 
bolt cutters back there in the back. We went ahead and on both sides, we have a three holder BA slot for the bottles. And on both sides, we went ahead and put in for fire extinguishers for both sides, for the water cans and the fire extinguishers. As we come into this compartment here, we put in two, 250 pound slide out trays to hold all of our appliances. There's just some of them that we had installed here while we were here. And we'll put various things when we get back to the house that we also bought. We have a complete Dewalt set up top. So as we come around, we went ahead and mounted a four foot and a six foot Georgia hook with the New York style pipe poles on the end. Just like the other side, since we got dual hookups with our five inch, we got the LDH spanners and the hydrant and the spanner wrenches located in the same spot. One thing I forgot to talk about when I was on the other side with these speed lays, we have a speed lay, uh, each one of these also puts out foam along with our bumper. And we'll talk about that when I get up there. As we come around, we have a door on the outside so that we could open it up and we're going to have a BA in there and that's where the driver's gear is going to go along with his helmet out of the way. So that way it keeps it out of that compartment back there that is normally stored in, in the engineer's compartment. <clears throat> As we walk around the front, we went with a 24 inch bumper and with a four inch raised uh, hatch. We went ahead and put three compartments in here. We plumbed it with a two and a half if we want to carry two and a half or we can drop it down, which we normally carry inch and three quarter and we can put the adapter on the front for the inch and three quarter for the trash line for dumpster fires and car fires. We went ahead with a federal queue up in front. Horns are right outside of our, our sirens. We went with dual sirens on the truck. I think that the truck's going to be very nice for us. It's very well laid out. The people here at Ferrer have been awesome to work with. The, the customer service when they mount the tools and everything's been top notch. I appreciate you walking around my truck with me. Have a nice day.